And we're back with the Press Box Show here at High School Media Day. We're here for a, a very special treat. Uh, I've been able to get a one-on-one -on -one interview with the man, the man, Ivory Durham the Fourth. I call him IV, because you're going to need a lot of fluids to get with this man. Ivory, how you doing, man? Um, um, let's get right into it. Uh, just talk about your preparation for the 2017 season. Um, lifting weights, got a bond with my team, the great chemistry. We're focused, we're on a mission. We're going to take it game by game. And hopefully, well, we will be in the state championship. What makes your game so, so special? You are a very versatile player. Um, but you tell us personally, what do you think makes your game so special? Uh, I think my football IQ. I have a feeling, I know I scan the field. My pre, my pre, uh, my pre, uh, before I throw, pre snap reads. Um, I just scan the field. My football IQ is very great. That was on display last year. Um, you were able to find different receivers. If uh, receivers weren't weren't open, you were able to use your legs. Um, like I said, you're a very versatile player. You're able to use your arm and your legs. Just uh, talk about that ability and and uh, when did you see that develop for you? Uh, well, it, de it developed for me when I was younger. It is just, I'm just buying time, give time for my receivers to get open because my first my first job is to get my receivers the ball. So when I'm buying time, I want them to get the ball. I love seeing people happy. I love to make my receivers happy. So I just make my line look good, make my receivers look good. Now, uh, we've seen you on social media, man. You've been uh, working out, uh, getting, getting uh, bigger in the weight room. Uh, what's been your mindset uh, behind getting bigger this year? Uh, I have to be big, have to be quicker than everybody, have to be faster. I'm not that big, so my advantage is my, my feet, my legs have to stay strong, have to keep my upper body tight. So that's, that's pretty much it. You've been very, very durable as a quarterback, taking a lot of hits, but um, what mental toughness do you uh, take to the game to uh, make you to be able to take those types of, type of shots and continue to lead your team and stay in the game? Um, just keeping my team calm. Uh, just when, some, when, it, when it gets rowdy into the game, I keep everybody calm. Don't let nothing get in our way. It's just I got to stay calm. That's what it is. I just got to stay mentally. Now, another mental aspect is the fact that you're a coach. A lot of people don't, don't uh, know that, 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 that he is a uh, youth football coach. You're a youth football coach at MOT. Of course, that's, that's where you played, and that's, and that's the part that your father founded. Um, just talk about what you enjoy the most about coaching the kids and uh, what are some of the joys that you see uh, with them playing. Uh, I just love giving back to the community. I love coaching. I love kids, really, to tell you the truth. I love showing them how to do it the right way, not the wrong way. Uh, I have patience. I just just like to see them. Like, cause that was me when I was little, so I'm just giving back, really. Last, last question. Um, you, you will go from being a star football player from the youth ranks, uh, middle school, to a star player in high school at – uh, probably the uh, one of the most famous high schools in Northeast Florida in uh, Jacksonville. Talk about some of those pressures that uh, that have been placed on you and how you have handled that. Uh, to me, it's no pressure. I've been going through this my whole life, so it's just another. When I step on the field, it's just another game. Just stay calm. Don't worry about the outside. Worry about my team. Worry about everybody else. We're good. Ivory, right, thank you again. Iv, we're gonna catch you this year. On the field at the graveyard. Yes, sir.